Good morning, Cake. It's Tuesday. Today's video comes to you in two parts. Part one, a major casting announcement. So back in March, The Hollywood Reporter announced that Isabella Merced would play Aza in the movie adaptation of my book, Turtles All the Way Down. And then shortly after that, Deadline Hollywood broke the news that Felix Millard and Cree would also be in the movie. But somehow, none of these major publications saw fit to announce the most important news of all which is that I have also been cast in the Turtles All the Way Down movie. Now, Hank, longtime nerdfighters will know that I have never managed to actually score a cameo in any of the movie adaptations of my books, and not for lack of trying. Like, I was supposed to be in the Fault in Our Stars movie, I had two lines and everything, but my acting was so distractingly bad that they had to cut the scene out of the movie. But that was eight years ago, Hank, and since then I have been practicing, working to get to a place where I can say words in a normal-ish manner while looking into a camera lens but also while being filmed and not looking into a camera lens. Nope, no upspeak, just straight. But also while being filmed and not looking into a camera lens. That got weird at the end. But also while being filmed and not looking into a camera lens. That was an angry version. Just say it normal. But also while being filmed and not looking. But also while being filmed and not looking and... But all this is gonna go great. Will I get cut from the movie? Probably, but that's okay. I mean, the work actual actors do just amazes me. Like, to cite one example, Isabella so completely inhabits the mind and body of Aza that sometimes when we are filming difficult scenes, I want to intervene. Like, I know it's acting, there are cameras and mics and lights everywhere, but she makes it feel so real that all that stuff disappears. Which is something no one will say about my performance in Turtles All the Way Down. Oh, but there is one great thing about it! So there's this document called a call sheet, which says like which actors are working each day and when they need to be picked up and stuff, and the star of the movie is the first person on the call sheet, and then the person who has the second most screen time is number two on the call sheet and so on. Anyway, my first day on the set, the second assistant director, Tracy, came up to me and said, it's really nice to meet you, 19, because I am the 19th name on the call sheet, and now I have a nickname. The and makeup crew even got me a necklace that has the number 19 on it. I've always wanted a good nickname, one that is simultaneously loving and humbling. I mean, the thing about your regular name is that it's picked when nobody knows anything about you, including yourself. Whereas a nickname is generally bestowed when people do know something about you, like that you're the 19th most important member of this cast. Last thing about the movie, I'll be doing more Question Tuesday videos with the cast and also with the director, so leave some questions in the comments below. Part two, Crash Course. So Hank, it truly boggles my mind to consider how many people have used Complexly's channel Crash Course to help them learn. Like these days, when I'm running an errand and someone recognizes me, 99% of the time it's as the Crash Course guy. And I have to say, the Crash Course guy is my favorite nickname, even more than 19. Because I am really proud of the people who make Crash Course and what they've accomplished together. Like in 2021 alone, they helped tens of millions of people learn about everything from organic chemistry to black American history to infectious disease, which incidentally were three of the series launched last year thanks in part to funding from the Crash Course coin, the 2022 edition of which is available now and only for the next two weeks. The idea is that people can sponsor 2,000 learners with a $100 coin or 10,000 learners with a $500 coin, and you get this beautifully struck coin which features illustrations inspired by the cave paintings at Lascaux, cave paintings that remind us that people have been sharing information and learning from each other for a very long time. The link to get yours is CrashCourseCoin.com. Now, of course, we know that the vast majority of people can't afford to support Crash Course at that level, and that's okay. The whole idea of Crash Course is that it is free for everyone forever, but if you can afford to, it is a beautiful coin and will also help Crash Course fulfill its mission of lowering barriers to education. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.